Hello and welcome. In this video, we will go through how to send data layer events into Google Analytics 4 and specifically service form data layer events. So by default, the following events are sent from the service form chatbots is when you interact, we send an event called chat start. When you have a lead, we send something called chat complete. When you start a live chat, we just send live chat. And when you have a redirect, a link click from your chatbot to another website, we will send the redirect event. And here's the code that is actually sent on the event, which means something to some of you, but not to everyone. But this is the idea of what is being sent out of the system. Um, so what you can actually do is you need to do three things to send this from data layer into Google Analytics is you need to add a trigger, you need to add a tag, and you need to check your data that it's all complete. And that's all you need to do. Um, by default, service form also sends a default G tag events into Google Analytics. So in case that works for you, you don't need to do anything here. But if you get in case you're having problems with the normal GTAC automatic setup, this is something that you need to do to get your uh, your interactions to come through. All right, so this first step is to add a trigger. So in your Google Tag Manager account, you need to go under the triggers tab. And you need to add a trigger which can be called anything. But in our case, we called it service form events. And here you need to create a trigger type of custom event. And under this event, put the event name service form and make this to trigger on all custom events. This makes sure that all of your service form data layer events are triggering this trigger, right? And then we need to create a tag here, which is called send the service form data into Google Analytics 4. And for this one, I, I have called it send service form to GA, um, but how it works is that we need to use the tag type Google Analytics 4 event. Um, you can send your configuration tag, which you can find in your Google Analytics settings. We have set it manually. Um, for example, here is our measurement ID, and then we are sending the event from here. So you can find the event name chat progress, which is the type, if you look at the documentation again, you can see here that we have this chat progress, which inside of it has what type of service form event it is. So we are actually just sending this into Google Analytics 4. So what you can do is uh, in your tag, you can choose DLV, which means the custom events chat progress event and we are sending that into Google Analytics like this. You can use other combinations as you wish, but to achieve what I'm doing here, this does all I need. And then just uh, make sure that that is triggered by your service form events trigger. And when you save and publish, you will get the following. So you can go in your Google Analytics, you can go in your events tab. Of course, you need to wait a bit of time, you need to send a few events, you can also debug it in the real time side. Um, here, if you put the data here, you will see um, chat start, you will see chat complete, and you will see uh, live chat, and you will see in, uh, redirect in case they are used. And then what you can do is you can, for example, the chat complete event, you can mark it as a conversion, and then you can go under your conversion tab. And here you can give even more uh, details to your details to your conversion. And that's it. That those are the events we, you, if you want, uh, that's how you can send them to, from Google, data layer to Google Analytics. And one step further is that if you want to add custom data layer events to your buttons in your chatbot, you can just use in every button we have something called the custom trigger, uh, custom JavaScript, which allows you to run, for example, Google da data layer. Uh, event so you can write any kind of event and put it in any button and this is useful for example in doing remarketing uh, based on the button presses and and uh, all kinds of other other things like that but this is the basic you need to do uh, add a trigger add a tag and check your data and then everything should function as it is and if you have problems please contact our